Uh, my objectives are to differentiate uh, dementia from rapidly progressive dementia, to understand the signs and symptoms of rapidly progressive dementia, to know the differential diagnosis, the necessary workup, and the potential treatable conditions. So what is the definition of dementia? Well, it's a progressive condition marked by the development of deficits in multiple cognitive domains, including uh, memory or cognition, uh, which we all know, but it affects other areas as well, including behavior, uh, including visual spatial, including executive function, the ability to organize, uh, language, the ability to name, um, to, to speak, to understand. Um, dementia impairs a, a person's ability to function, essentially, um, to perform their activities of daily living. And so what is the difference between dementia versus rapidly progressive dementia? Well, in dementia, uh, we know that, uh, basically we know the, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. For instance, with Alzheimer's, you know, it's a progressive, irreversible neurodegenerative process that compromises the things I talked about, cognition, behavior, and all the activities of daily living. Uh, examples, like I said, Alzheimer's, we know how it begins, we know how it progresses, five, 10 years, we know it ends. Um, the prognosis is well defined, um, and generally no treatable conditions. Whereas rapidly progressive dementia is a completely different um, disorder. Uh, the course is different, often can start overnight, uh, sometimes weeks, but it's a more rapid onset, more accelerated decline. Uh, there's much, uh, there's a variety of underlying causes, not just neurodegeneration of the brain. There's inflammation, there's uh, vasculitis, there's infection, there's uh, tumor, there's autoimmune causes. So there's many different causes. The prognosis varies depending on the type of disorder. And some of these are treatable, unlike the dimensions which are not treatable. So why is it important to distinguish between the two? Well, rapidly progressive dimensions are sometimes treatable, as you'll see, and delaying this treatment can prevent irreversible damage. So it's important to diagnose these conditions early. So what are the clinical symptoms of rapidly progressive dementia? Well, obviously dementia, a behavioral change, you may see uh, hypersexuality, depression, anxiety, agitation, seizures can be generalized clonic-clonic, partial seizures, uh, <clears throat> visual loss, uh, pyramidal signs, weakness or extrapyramidal signs like Parkinsonism, 